and we now move ahead to the next segment that's the new promising molecules track and our invited speaker for the next 12 minutes is Dr. Apoor Mittal. He's a senior consultant interventional cardiologist at Mulchan Healthcare in New Delhi. Dr. Mittal will be speaking on Azil Sartan promises for the future. Good afternoon everybody, uh, respected chairpersons and dear colleagues. I have given opportunity to in this conference to give a lecture on Azil Sartan a newer promising molecule antihypertensive drug and will it impact my clinical practice. Hypertension is a major risk factor for global mortality and uh, uh, among uh, these uh, preventive uh, risk factors hypertension tops the list. Hypertension is a silent killer and uh, Cardiovascular disease accounts for approximately 17 million deaths a year. Out of this, 9.4 million deaths accounts to hypertension. Hypertension is responsible for at least 45% of death due to heart disease and 51% of death due to stroke. Global burden of hypertension projected 2025. Around 30% of world adult population will have hypertension. And out of this, 80% will be in developing nations, including India. Hypertension Indian scenario. Mm, prevalence of hypertension in India is around more than 39%. Maharashtra is a leading. Uh, another is uh, MP, another is Andhra Pradesh. In Delhi, it is 48%. And uh, this is a study quoted by Joshi et al. in 2012 published in Diabetes and Hypertension Prevalence in India. Average blood pressures fall now is starting falling across the world, but in India it is rising. And the bitter truth is that only 40% of the population is aware that they are hypertensive. Only 31% is on treatment and only 12% have a control, good control of hypertension. And as we know, as the blood pressure increases, there is significant increase in cardiovascular mortality. As if a patient having systolic blood pressure of around 175 by 105, then it is eightfold increase in mortality, cardiovascular mortality and risk. And BP lowering significantly reduces the risk Reduction of cardiovascular event by 25%, heart failure by 43%, myocardial infarction 16%, stroke 36%, mortality 11%, published in Journal of Hypertension 2014. And according to the Lancet study, 2 mmHg reduction in systolic blood pressures will reduce the stroke by 10% and ischemic heart disease by 7%. And 2 mmHg reduction in diastolic blood pressures would result in 6% reduction in risk of coronary heart disease and 15% reduction in risk of stroke and TIS. Coming to the antihypertensive agents, we have various agents available. And from 1950 to 2010, we look to the history. First comes the diuretics, then the beta blockers, then the calcium channel blockers, then alpha-1 blockers, then comes ACE inhibitors, then angiotensin receptor blockers, and last is the direct renin inhibitors. I am here on to put my emphasis on angiotensin receptor blocker. Now it is one of the preferred choice. According to the JNC8 guidelines, except black population and elderly population who have non-renin hypertension or low renin hypertension, in all other cases, ACE inhibitors or ARBs are now the preferred first choice with or without diuretics. And for currently available antihypertensive therapies, reduces stroke by around 30 to 40 percent, cardiovascular event by 20 to 30 percent, and cardiovascular death by 30 to 40 percent. But can we do better? Yes. Now we have our latest addition to ARB's armamentarium and it is Agile Saturn. It is the eighth angiotensin receptor blocker now available. 
and its whole name is Azincertan Medoxomil. It is a new addition. US FDA approved in February 2011. US FDA approved with fixed drug combination with chlorothalidin in December 2011 and approved for fixed dose combination with amlodipine in 2014 by some of the countries. Strength available, 40 and 80 milligram. It is to be taken once daily with or without food. Starting dose is 40 milligram if patient is on high dose of diuretics. Indication is only and only hypertension. And like other ACE inhibitors and ARBs, it is contraindicated in pregnancy. The structure, it has a very unique uh, oxo oxodiol ring which is not present in other angiotensin receptor blocker. It is a product rapidly hydrolyzed to azelsartan, selectively block angiotensin 1 receptor blocker, unusual capacity to block angiotensin 1 receptor for longer period of time than other angiotensin receptors blocker. And uh, slightly going into the pathophysiology, it is very important as we know the RAS pathway, when we block the angiotensin 1 receptor, then angiotensin 2 can convert into angiotensin 1 by 7 resulting in the activation of mass receptors. It is a G protein coupled receptors and these mass receptors acting on mass receptor will cause vasodilatation, diuresis, nitiuresis, antihypertrophy, anti-inflammation, anti-proliferation, facilitation of insulin action, improvement of lipid metabolism and all these beneficial effects will lead to improvement in the cardiovascular uh, result in improvement in uh, cardiovascular health. So these are the protective effect of ACE2 and angiotensin 17 on atherosclerosis, MI and stroke, protective effect on pathological cardiac remodeling and heart failure, beneficial effect on insulin resistance and diabetes. It will cause reduction in insulin resistance, increase in insulin secretion, result in increased glucose uptake and decreased blood glucose concentration, and a protective effect on renal functions also. So it is a unique ARB uh, which block angiotensin 1 receptor, enhances the activity of ACE2 and angiotensin 1 by 7 mass axis and it prevents cardiac hypertrophy, attenuated renal damage and increase angiotensin 1 to 7. And it is more potent than any other ARB, twice as potent than olmisartan and telmisartan, 5 to 20 times more potent than abisartan and valsartan. And it has T half life of 11 hours, viability of 60%, and the root of elimination 50% by kidney, 50% by biliary tract. Some of the data favoring Azulsartan. First of the trial by Beckris et al. in 2014, uh, comparing Azulsartan with Olmisartan, 40 milligram was daily, six weeks duration and we look for change in blood pressures, mean systolic blood pressure and also the clinical blood pressures. There was significant reduction of azelsartan 80 milligram as compared to olmisartan 40 milligram and it is around uh, 2 mmHg reduction in uh, blood pressures more than olmisartan systolic blood pressures and 1.5 mmHg more than diastolic blood pressures. And they are well tolerated drugs with minimal side effects most, of, most common side effects are headache, dyslipidemia, dis, uh, dizziness. Discontinuation is only in 1 to 2 percent and similar to Almisartan. So it is more efficacious and well tolerated ARB and have a significant uh, clinical reduction of blood pressure as compared to Almisartan. Another trial is White et al. published in Hypertension 2011. Uh, it has uh, compared azelsartan with olmisartan and valsartan and uh, as compared to olmisartan it has around 3 mmHg more reduction of blood pressures as compared to valsartan 5 mmHg more uh, reduction of clinical systolic blood pressures. Adverse effects were almost similar in all different treatment arms and 24 hour mean systolic blood pressure also significant reduction with Azilsartan as compared to Valsartan and Olmisartan. And it was around 14 to 15 mmHg compared to only 10 to 11 mmHg with Olmisartan and Valsartan. Responder rate defined by reduction in clinical blood pressures more than 20 mmHg or reaching a clinical systolic blood pressure of less than 140 mmHg. It is around 60% as compared to 
49% with only Saturn or Val Saturn. So responder rate was around 10% higher. Another trial comparing Azil Saturn with uh, Ramipril, very significant reduction in systolic and diastolic blood pressures as compared to Ramipril. Responder rate is also significantly higher. And cough side effect, which is present in around 8% in Ramipril, not present in only 1% in Azil Saturn. A trial which has caused a fixed dose combination approval uh, Azil Sartan and uh, Chlorothalidone by Sika et al., which compared Azil Sartan plus Chlorothalidone versus Azitalsan and Chlorothalidone alone. And uh, the fixed dose combination have 40% reduction in uh, systolic blood pressure as compared to 27 with alone. And target blood pressure achieved was around in 70 to 80% as compared to 20 to 50% with alone. And adverse effects were similar and negligible while using fixed dose combination with chlorothalidone. Another with amlodipine, uh, results were to marketing, uh, both uh, there was significant uh, reduction uh, of uh, systolic and diastolic blood pressure as compared to amlodipine alone, and uh, percent of patient achieving target blood pressure at six weeks was also uh, significantly higher in Agil Sartan group. And edema or fluid retention was less common in combination group than compared with placebo plus amlodipine. This is one of the very important trial published in New America, New England uh, General Medicines 2015, which shows that the intensive treatment group as compared to the standard treatment group have a significantly better results in patients having cardiovascular disease risk and blood pressure of around 130 to 180 systolic and it was prematurely stopped because intensive treatment group have uh, good 27% uh, lower reduction of death, 25% lower reduction of primary outcome and around 40% lower risk reduction from cardiovascular causes. And in this sprint trial, Agile Sartan was used uh, in maximum number of cases around 40% in intensive group and 27% in standard treatment group. And take home messages from Agile Sartan. It is the eighth ARB to be introduced, US FDA approval in 2011, unique structure and first FDC of ARB and CLD as approved combination. Selectively blocking of angiotensin 1 receptor in vascular smooth muscles having possibly dual mechanism of action by activation of mass receptors causing positive uh, effects. Superior blood pressure reduction as compared to Valsartan, Candisartan, Olmisartan and Ramipril and safety profile comparable to the other ARBs. Dose adjustment is not required in patient with mild to moderate renal impairment. Similarly, dose ad adjustment is not necessary for subjects with mild to moderate hepatic impairment. Thank you. Thank you for your. Uh, thank you, Dr. Mittal. Mr. Thank Chairman, you. do you have any? Thank questions? you. Thank you, Dr. Mittal. Uh, excellent uh, presentation. All too common problem. Hypertension affects more close to 50% of the people. I mean, some of us don't even know we have hypertension as we sit here. Hypertension is a silent killer. So it's extremely important that we are aware of our, our blood pressure and extremely important that we take some medications. And the number one choice will be a long acting sardine, like you mentioned, the drug. I think it looks like an nice, ex excellent drug and uh, very least side effects. The only thing is, I hope it's not too expensive in India, you know, like there. So, uh, you made a good point, very good points. Thank you. In the interest of time, we should move on, unless anybody has a question. It may be given with beta blocker. Hello? It may be given with beta blocker. Yes, sir, it can be given in beta blocker in patients with cardiovascular diseases, but uh, it is not yet trial with the beta blocker. Diabetic hypertensive. In yes. diabetic hypertensive. Diabetic hypertensive alone is safe. Alone is sufficient. Yes. In diabetic hypertensive it is already trialed. I have left this slide because of the sort of the time. But uh, it has already been trialed. It is safe in mild CKD, it is safe in diabetes, safe with hypertension, safe with any of the cardiovascular disease risk factors. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Mittal.